אנחנו מדברים על חברת הפארמה NRX, ודוקטור ג'ונתן ג'אביט הוא המנכ"ל והמייסד שלה. Hello and good morning, דוקטור ג'אביט. Good morning, how are you? I'm fine, how are you? Very well, thank you. So help us understand, what is a Brilife vaccine a uniqueness if we compare it to others, uh, other vaccines uh, in the market? Well, the primary vaccines that people know, the Pfizer and the Moderna vaccine, are based on what they call mRNA technology, where you train the immune system of the body to make antibodies to a small piece of the spike protein of the coronavirus. The pretty picture you showed before shows the, the spike that sticks out from the virus and attacks the body. Uh, in the case of the vaccine that's been developed by the IIBR, the entire spike protein, not just a piece of it, is shown to the body's immune system. And we believe that this will enable the body to make a robust, in other words, a, a complete uh, immune response. But moreover, because it's easy to change the spike protein on the surface of the vaccine, We believe that this will give a rapid path mm -hmm. to adjusting the vaccine as new variants of the virus emerge. So, Dr. Javit, uh, do you believe this vaccine will be more effective uh, against the uh, uh, COVID-19 variants? We certainly have hope that it will be more effective against the COVID-19 variants than the first generation of the mRNA vaccine. Now, clearly, you can update mRNA vaccines to address variants as well. However, we believe that this platform will give a very rapid response to new variants as they're identified. We know that uh, Israel invested millions of millions of dollars uh, in developing uh, this vaccine. However, there was a difficult, uh, it was difficult to find uh, volunteers. How are you going to overcome this issue? Well, the difficulty of finding volunteers in Israel, of course, is based on the fact that Israel was so incredibly effective mm. at vaccinating its own population. Uh, and therefore, we've contracted with research organizations uh, in Georgia and Ukraine and elsewhere where vaccination rates right now are much lower and people are uh, eager to participate uh, in the development of new vaccines. And uh, when are you going to complete uh, the trials? Our aim is to start the trials by the end of the month. And if we're fortunate and uh, able to achieve our plan, uh, we hope to uh, vaccinate the, uh, the final volunteers by the end of the year. Uh, Dr. Javit, I want to uh, go back to the efficacy. Do you believe uh, the BreLife will be more effective than the Pfizer vaccine? I would never speculate on uh, comparative efficacy, but we certainly hope that BreLife will demonstrate itself to be an effective vaccine, a vaccine that can rapidly be adapted to new variants uh, and a safe vaccine. That's our hope. But to, uh, to make claims ahead of time about efficacy would be wrong. Okay. Okay, Dr. Jantan uh, Jabit, uh, thank you so much. for the answers. Thank, Thank you. you.